All right, y'all, we're gonna drop a little live pinfish over this wreck here and see what we have hanging out. The screen is lit up like a Christmas tree. We got birds working out here in front of us. There's a lot of wind and a lot of current, so it's tough to stay over the spot right now. See if old Captain Craig can get the job done. Yeah, pressure. Oh, I'm on. Oh, I'm off. Come back for it. I got hit as soon as I got the bottom. Yeah, we've already pretty good stuff on the bottom. Yeah, I don't feel like I got any bait. You still on, Casey? Thing bit my bait in half. Check out that little uh, pinfish. Got tore up. Casey's got him something good on over there. Send another pinfish down. See if he'll uh, see if they'll take it this time. <laughs> big snapper? Oh yeah, I would say hey, so. Big boy, dude. Tank yeah. of a snapper. Right. Casey with a hey, giant on the slow pitch jig. Nice, dude. That thing's giant. That's Absolute giant. Heck yeah, dude. Throw him in the box. All right, we're gonna bump back on the spot. See if I can get one on the live bait. All right, we're gonna send another live bait down. See if we can hook onto a monster like Casey had. Unfortunately, my slow pitch rod broke in half. Got something good over there. So I'm stuck with the live bait while they get the slow pitch jig over there. Sorry, I got eight last time. He just didn't get hooked up. Oh, there's a little bite. There we go. Oh, you're real That's something good. Oh, yeah, you're real Oh, that is something good. Oh, yeah. That is something real good. See if we can keep them off the bottom. Oh, real long. That is, a, that is a real fish for sure. Damn, boy. Be good to me, baby. This is what we're after right here on the live pen fish. Uh, okay, I thought you were saying I had you the whole time. <laughs> hey, he's still coming up. Uh, yeah, dude, he ain't happy about coming up though. He is Ooh, not. Deep color. It looks like it might be another one red fish. <clears throat> it's a tank too. He got some shoulders on it if he does, man. <sighs> Working that ass, baby. Getting my exercise. <laughs> hey, can you say ass on YouTube? That's all right. You can say ass. <sighs> Come on, baby. I thought I saw color. Maybe I was making it up. Oh, he's on the back. Oh, oh no. That sucked. Dude, Did he just that like pull you to the bottom or something or whatever? No, we were we were plenty off the yeah, bottom. Was, I don't know hey, if he pulled hook he or was, broke off yet. He was up. Yeah. All right, let's All right. see what happened. Yeah. Did we pull him or break him? We broke him. Uh, Dang it. That was a massive fish. Broke us off. Dude. What pound leader is this? Maybe not enough. Feels 60, like, is it 50, 60? 40. You were, it's a 60 because you were looking for the 80, remember? Well, this one's yeah, already pre-rigged. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna tie on some 60. Yeah, maybe a little something. See if that'll get him. Mm -hmm. All right, sending another live bait down. Not 100% sure what size leader we had on first, but I've got 60 pound fluorocarbon now. Should be plenty for these big snapper. <sighs> that was a lot of work for nothing. Usually when we lose the fish, we lose them to getting in the structure and breaking off there. But I had that fish up off the bottom, ended up cutting me off. All right, back on bottom with the live pin fish right, here. See if we can do it again. Successfully do it again. Oh, we're getting eight, we're getting eight. Come on. There he oh, is, yeah, there he yeah. is. Yeah. There he is, right on bottom. Right on bottom. We got a heavier leader this time, see if we can get him up. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Baby. No! You gotta give a little drag. You can't just I don't want him to get back. I don't want him to I don't want him to cut me off on the bottom. Oh man. Gotta keep him out of the structure. Dang it. There are some big fish down there for sure. I was just trying to keep him out of the structure, yeah, so no, it's it's always a battle. It is a battle. <laughs> give like, give him some drag or horse him out and see what happens. Oh, like, right take your pick. The last two are horse, so I guess I'll give one a little bit more drag and 
see if I can land them that way. All right, I've definitely been losing this battle so far. Got another hook, another live bait, getting back on the spot. I guess I'm gonna let this one take a little drag from me. Try not to break them off again. All right, y'all go ahead, set down. Down, down, down she goes. There's a lot of fish on bottom right here. Shouldn't take long to get hooked up again. Seth is dropping down a live bait too. Casey's still on the jig. Y'all comment down below. Do you let them take more drag and hope they don't break you off? Or you try to horse them out? How do y'all fight them? Somebody's gonna tell me the right way to do it. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh yeah, there he is. Dude, seriously, I wonder if it's grouper right on bottom. It looks a little live bottom-ish. I'd love to find Easier out. said than done, Casey. <laughs> I'm trying. He's like, just catch one. No way, that's just my weight. Oh, 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 there he is. Oh, there he okay. is. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm not, I'm not thumbing it. Oh, I'm not thumbing it this time. It I'm letting the drag do it. Drag. I am not thumbing it. I want to thumb it so bad. I know you do, you want to horse him. <laughs> And he's taking it. Well, don't let him go all the way. He's taking ball. it. Look at the balance. You kind of pull him up. Easy. Nice and gentle like, baby. Nice and gentle, and gentle like. You got to be on one, but... Yeah, come on. Brad's on another hog. Dang. I'm going to put three hogs on the right hog. Come on. What? Let's see if that one... That one had to just pull the hook. So that one to let them get me in the structure, it's frayed to crap. That's the problem here. Yeah. Yeah. I need some bigger leader. If you don't. We're going bigger. Oh, no. All right, now we got 80 pound leader. <laughs> Went a little bit bigger on the hook. 0 for three here. See if we can make fourth time a charm. I'm still kind of torn on if these are red snapper or grouper because they're eating right off the bottom. There he is, there, there, he, there is. he is, Brad. there he is. All right, we got the heavier leader. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> I obviously can't do it. You got them. You got them. I want to see what it is. I mean, there's some giants. Oh, that, he just all of a dude. kicks in another gear when he wants to and just pops it. I must be on. Dropped a live bait here. I felt like I was hung up on bottom, but whatever I have is coming up. I'm not really sure what's going on here. He's not fighting at all, though. I have no idea what this could be. Yeah, who knows? At least it's a fish. I'd like to see something. Uh, hopefully it's a fish. Hey, it might be something like a fish. <laughs> might be picking up a rock off the bottom. Yeah. Hey, lionfish! Lionfish! We net that? Yeah, we My that first is. ever lionfish. Never caught a lionfish. Holy cow, never caught Dude. a lionfish either. That's wow. That's Don't a touch it. <laughs> Don't touch it. They're poisonous, but yeah. they say they're good to eat. They're supposed they're to be delicious. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll figure out how to clean it. <laughs> um, what you buy right there? That thing's huge. I've never even seen a picture of one that big. Huge. That's, that's, that's a big one. Check out that giant lionfish. First time I've ever caught one. Unfortunately, I can't hold it or anything because they're, they're super poisonous. And uh, so we're going to throw it on ice and I guess figure out how to clean it when we get back. Y'all yeah, ever clean one before? Yeah. No. All right. That's right. We got to wear gloves for that one. <laughs> what a freaking catch. Well, at least we got wow. something in the boat. All right. We are about to attempt to clean this lionfish and try not to get poked by one of those gnarly dudes. Those things will mess you up. I do have a glove on one hand. Unfortunately, I only have one glove. Kelton? I need you to hold the camera. Okay. Supposedly these things are absolutely delicious. We're about to find out. This is a pretty big one. And he was only a couple ounces shy of the state record. Look at how white this meat is on this lionfish. That stuff looks delicious. There's nothing poisonous about the meat. It is all in the spines up here. That's what you have to avoid. And most people catch these spear fishing. Not very often do you catch them on hook and line like this. It's a pretty cool catch. Hopefully, it's as good as they say it is. We are going to find out. Yes, can you hold this because I need to go potty. Right, look how white that fillet is right there. 
That thing is gonna be delicious. All right, we made it through one side without stabbing my foot. So, flip them over, do the same thing. We got knocks behind the camera, so if the camera's all over the place, <laughs> that would be why. <laughs> Absolute beautiful pieces of fish there. We're gonna clean them up, take them on side, see how good it is to eat. All right, guys, we're back in the house now. Got the fish all cleaned up. It was a, a little bit sketchy, but I got it diced up. We're gonna make some ceviche. I messaged uh, Victor from Landshark when I got done, uh, or after I caught this fish, I asked him any tips, tricks, how he would cook it, and he said, definitely do ceviche and don't get stuck by the spines. <laughs> so uh, we didn't get stuck by the spines, so now we're gonna make ceviche. I don't think I've ever made ceviche on the channel before, and uh, so we're gonna make it happen today. I got the fillets just like cubed up. You can do this with any fish. A lot of people will do uh, pompano or whiting. A lot of guys offshore will do different types of snapper. But we got the lionfish, and then we got jalapenos, orange bell peppers, red bell peppers, Roma tomatoes, avocado, red onions, cilantro. And then, so this fish is not actually gonna get cooked, but it is gonna cook from the acidity of the lemons and then a little bit of lime juice as well. So we're gonna dump our stuff in here. Everything? Everything. Onions. Wait, you're not gonna avocado. Um, you're not gonna um, put the juice in there? Yep. Tomatoes and red bell peppers, orange bell peppers. I love orange bell peppers. Jalapenos. That. Yeah. I do that one. And you can put pretty much anything in I here as long it. as you have the acidity from some mm -hmm. lemon and lime. I do it. I do it. You can put anything else in here, whatever flavors you like. This is just kind of like the traditional way. Can I put the lemons in? Yep. Yeah. So the easiest way to do this is to have a little juicer. So we're going to start with our limes. Yeah. Cut them and squeeze them in. So I got five limes and one lemon, which should be more than enough acid, acidity, to cook this fish. I'll try to link everything I have down below. I didn't use any like specific measurements. I did like three jalapenos, one bell pepper, one of each color. And honestly, at the end of the day, the only thing that really matters is the juice, because that's what's so cooking it. The rest of it. The rest of it's just flavor. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. What we're gonna do is after we put all this in here, we're gonna mix it up nice, and then we're gonna slide it into the fridge. Should take about an hour or so, and you'll actually be able to see the color of the meat go from like that raw, uncooked meat looking to just like white. And that's when the acid has started to cook the meat. All right, now we got our lemon. Squeeze. The lemons are a lot easier. I do it. The other lemons are a lot easier. I do it by myself. It's a lot more easier. Right. Oh, look at those muscles. Squeeze it all out. Nice. Good job. I did it out. All right. Now we're just gonna get a spoon. Here, step it. I'm good. Mix everything in here real nice. Alright y'all check that out right there. We're gonna let that sit for just an hour or so in the fridge. Really just until the meat starts to look white. You know like right now it just looks like raw fish but that acid's gonna cook through. It's gonna start looking white. It's gonna be ready to eat. Alright it's been a little over an hour. Fish is all the way white so that means it is cooked. I did, I didn't show this before but I did end up doing a little bit of salt and pepper. I forgot to add that part. I'm gonna do little taste test. Make sure we get some fish, avocado, jalapeno, tomato. But I don't, can you it's make a lot of stuff to get everything in one bite. Daddy, mm. Dad, can you not Ooh. get the onions and sadis and the spicy, the peppers, spicy peppers? Yeah. And get everything else. But that's not how many other stuff, I say. What about the avocado? Yeah, and the orange stuff. Piece of orange. And... A piece of red. No, 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 no. 
Nothing else. All right, Colton. Going in with some ceviche. You scared? <laughs> you want to try just the fish first? Yeah. Hold that. Bye. Hey. All right. I'll buy it with just the fish. Ready? Cheers. Sit. Sour. Sour? That's the only thing it can taste. It's from the lime and the lemon. Yeah, like it? <laughs> I was kind of wondering. He was really excited to try it, but I didn't think he was going to like it. Moxie, you want to try some? No, it's sour. Say mm -hmm. oh. What is that? See if your mom will try some. No. Huh? I didn't think they would actually like it, and they don't. Last time we made this, I don't think I even really liked it, but it is pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? What did you hear? What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? If y'all have never made ceviche, you're definitely going to want to try it out sometime. It is really good. If you get the chance to catch or go spear fishing for lionfish, it's also very good. <laughs> I'm going to try to link everything that I put in this down in the description if you're interested in trying it. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Until next time. Yeah.